right, you've done your redraft, excellent. But that process is gonna go on. We need to keep working on a script. All remember, all writing is rewriting. Now, one of the ways to help improve your script, we've talked already about feedback. One of the other techniques we can use is what's known as a read-through. What happens with the read-through is you bring in some actors, you assign characters to each of them, and you get them to run through the script as if they were performing it. What that allows you to do is you, for the first time, you get to hear the dialogue. You start to get an understanding of pacing. Now, it may be that you're working with a director and you may bring a director in at this stage. Or, as a writer, you can set this up. If you're going to set up a read-through, it's really important that you are respectful to the people that you're going to bring in, whether they're actors or non-actors. Get them together early. Give them some time and space to talk about what you've done, what you're trying to achieve from the read-through. So, for example, you could be saying to them, I've done a lot of work on the script. It, it would be really valuable for me just to be able to sit back in the room and hear it. If you can record it, even better. Get yourself set up so you can get a recording of it. And then sit back and take notes. When you set up a read-through, make sure that you have water around the table. You're going to reward the people that you've brought in. So make sure there's pizza, salad, whatever, whatever you've figured out they all, that they're all going to enjoy. Remember, people are doing you a favor, so treat them well. A read-through can be really valuable if you plan it and organize it and you know what you want to get out of it. Again, if you're going to bring in actors, don't be afraid. Actors, ask, ask for their input. And, and at this point, you should be starting to get used to the feedback idea. You should be able to sit back, take notes. You don't have to sit and justify things. Just ask, let them ask the question, write it down. If people at this stage start slipping into telling you what they think you should be doing, again, be big and generous, nod, just take the notes. And all you have to say is, that's interesting, I'll think about that, take a note. Some of the common problems that are going to occur at this stage of a script are things like exposition. We talked about this earlier. Be particularly careful about characters that speak to themselves. It's again, it's a piece of lazy writing. You need to put a piece of information across so you have the character shaving in front of the mirror and starts to talk about what he's ticked off about or what his plan is to deal with something. Watch out for that. It's really lazy. Another thing to be careful of is now make sure that you've nailed the story to one lead. It, if it's a short film, you haven't got space to have multiple leads or a dual story. One of them needs to be the one that drives the story. So stick to a single lead character. At this stage as well, as a writer, you should be able to ask yourself these questions and answer them. What's the theme? Can you nail it in one word? Go back and check our checklist, remember? Characters. Have you made sure you've exploited every visual opportunity to tell something about that character? What shoes do they wear? What's their haircut like? Do they have rituals, tics, rit uh, religious observances? These are all visual clues for the, re for the reader and for the audience. Make sure you don't miss those opportunities. Check the goal that you set for your protagonist. Can you make it simpler and bigger? This one applies to pretty much all aspects of what you're trying to write and the, and the eventual film that you'll get made. If you switch the sound right down, would your audience still get it? Can you watch the film silently and still figure out the story? Remember, it's visual storytelling we're after. The stakes. Are the stakes big enough? Is the jeopardy extreme enough? Can you make it bigger? Are the obstacles big enough? Switch the sound down. Will an audience get it if you turn the sound off? Make them big. And this one's something new. 
What's the active question that your script poses? You'll hear this term after you've been around screenwriting for a while. Does it challenge the audience? Does it make them think about something? What does it say? What does it, what does it make us consider? Okay. What's that active question? Have you got one? Remember we talked about genre? You've long since decided what the genre is. Okay. So, see that comedy that you've been writing? Is it really funny? The horror, is it really scary, terrifying, shocking, suspenseful? Go back to your genre, make sure you're nailing it. Make sure that you're delivering on the genre. Emotion. Does your script arouse emotion? Is it original? Be careful that you haven't slipped into copying something that's gone before. It has to be highly original if it's going to stand out. Is it topical? Does it say anything about now? Is it, does it catch a zeitgeist? Is it controversial? We're trying to get your script to stand out. And now a really tough question. Be honest with yourself. Is it right now, is it just merely a series of events or is it people saying stuff that you want to tell the world? Go back again. Check the story spine. Remember the story spine? Title, time and place, genre. Protagonist, goal, obstacles, theme, stakes, all those things that we need to have in there. A great ending. Make sure that you've nailed them all. The processes that we've gone through over the last two or three modules, you can keep repeating these. Getting feedback, reworking your script. I sometimes spend eight, nine drafts on a one-page pitch document because it's that important to get it right. And guess what? It really improves it. So don't finish your work and think, it's great. Make sure it's absolutely watertight. One of the ways to do this is, by the time you've gone through lots of feedback and lots of rewrites, is to think about using a professional script reader. Now, these are people who have a lot of experience within the industry. They've probably been script readers for production companies or studios and they've set themselves up as somebody who you pay a fee, they read your script, they've got no involvement with you whatsoever apart from giving a breakdown of what they think the script is about, which sometimes is, can be quite a shock because it can be quite different from what you think you've been conveying, and then they'll give you feedback. These guys vary hugely in price. First of all, get some feedback from other writers online and writers groups see who they'd recommend. I always use two, a British and an American script reader. It's interesting to get both perspectives. What I would say is don't send your work too early to somebody who's a professional script reader or a professional writer. Don't seek these people out for advice too early because most of the things that need fixing will be pretty fundamental and you should be fixing them by getting feedback from your writers groups by doing your read-throughs. Okay. Get to the stage where you think it's absolutely watertight, I'm on draft nine, I've covered every single base, that's the time to give it to a professional script reader. Again, they vary a lot in price, check them out. Cheap doesn't necessarily mean good, doesn't also necessarily mean bad, so get some recommendations. Your action list for the end of this module is Number one, set up a read-through. And remember the rules of the read-through. Be organized. Food, water, possibly beer and wine, but don't give it too early because it's going to ruin things. Okay. Look after the people that you bring in. Don't try and justify any feedback. Just listen, thank them, write it down and keep it. Try and see if you can, if they're happy let, and let you, record the event as they read it through. Smile. Doesn't matter how badly it seems to be going. Smile and be polite. Don't tell people how they should read it. See how they interpret it. And the last thing is, do your rewrites. Okay? You've got another set of rewrites coming. It will be worth it. Do it.